Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from uh, Captain Lawrence. This is their Effortless Grapefruit Session IPA. You guys, what this is, is a low ABV, 4.5%, uh, 45 IBU, uh, easy drinking, very lightweight, Session IPA. So, uh, Rico sent me this. Uh, Rico, thanks again, my brother. For all the wonderful beers that you ship my way, I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, and he tells me uh, that this was canned on 8-29-16. So, uh, today is the 1st of November, so we're getting, uh, uh, getting closer and closer to the winter time season. So, uh, a lot of these IPAs, uh, unless they're doing wet hop or end of season, uh, they will probably start drying up. Uh, so, we'll see what happens there. And before I get into the beer, I want to throw something out to you guys. I've had a couple of subscribers uh, uh, say to me that it's meaningless for me to give you these uh, right beer and beer advocate and untapped ratings. Uh, so they, they say it's influencing my opinion. So do y'all want me to quit doing that? I want to get some feedback on that. I can cut out the food pairings and all these ratings and, and just close the notebooks up and just tell you what I think and make the video a lot shorter. And, and uh, I just want to give you a little, the, the most information that I can. I don't think it influences my decision. Sometimes I agree with these guys, one or the other or neither or both. Or, so I'm going to tell you what I think. I mean, and it doesn't matter to me whether I read this stuff to you because it's not influencing my decision in my opinion so uh, like I said uh, give me some feedback on it if you want me to stop doing it guys if you get enough people saying yeah stop doing it we'll turn these into three or four or five minute videos real quick like so uh, uh, let me know guys uh, we're going to do it on this one though so uh, until I get uh, a lot of uh, feedback saying no you know keep it in there cut it out whatever let me know how you feel all right, uh, I have had some stuff from uh, Captain Lawrence before that uh, Rico has sent me, and uh, I think I've got some somebody else sent me before, and they seem to be doing pretty tasty stuff there. So, not into these session beers, uh, whether they're IPAs or not. So let's see what this brings to the table. Uh, a lot of these low ABV session IPAs don't have quite enough taste for this guy, so let's see where this one ends up. Uh, says here, a commercial description, the only thing effortless about this beer is how it drinks. Domestic and imported malts take a backseat to the loads of American-grown hops that are dumped into the kettle. Dry hopped for mouth aroma and mosaic and palisade hops uh, and infused with natural grapefruit flavor to add to your refreshment. Enjoy an effortless drinking experience with our Grapefruit Session IPA. Alrighty then. And the food products for this is going to be your typical IPAs, guys. Cuisine is curried in the top. And the cheeses are peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue cheddar. Your stronger cheeses go over the level Limburger. And the meat is poultry fish, shellfish. And I'll add grilled meat to that because it's about everything that comes off the real good and well with a very nice, tasty IPA. And not recommended for cellaring for two reasons. It's an IPA and it's low alcohol, 4.5%. So drink it. Drink it up. Drink them to get hot. All right, guys. Uh, about a quarter finger of head on that pour. It's very cloudy. I don't see it, but it is a deep, uh, deep amber color. Uh, not light like a, a lot of the IPAs are. So it's got a lot of uh, pulpiness in there, evidently. Pulpiness. Is that a word? Let's get a nose on it. 
Wow, the grapefruit is just poof, off the chain with the amount of hops that they say they've used in this uh, to also give it some grapefruitiness. Then to add grapefruit juice in on top of that, uh, grapefruit, no doubt. Very citrusy, maybe some oranges or tangerines in there. Not a big bold pine scent, but a very nice hop aroma for a session IPA. A lot of the session IPAs are kind of skimpy on on the amount of hops that you're uh, you get with them. So uh, this smells pretty good. Of course, adding grapefruit juice in there should be rather grapefruity. What do you think? Let's dive in. Let's see. First beer of the day. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. grapefruit is just not only is it in the driver's seat it's got the whole front seat wow that is just like grapefruit juice and at 4.5 percent you can have this for breakfast have your little grapefruit juice four and a half percent not too potent you might still be able to function especially on the weekend if you ain't got to go to work very citrusy very grapefruity Hints of oranges and tangerines, and that's about all I'm getting. It does have a very nice taste, though. I will say, a lot of flavor for this 4.5%. But of course, adding all that grapefruit juice in there probably didn't hurt a bit. So, I definitely added a lot of grapefruit taste to this beer. So, well, let me take it back and let her have a sip two or three and uh, sip on it for a tad, and we'll come back and give you the great. All right, guys, I'm back. This sip not probably about 35, 40 minutes or so now. Very tasty. Awesome grapefruit flavor in this beer. Of course, it's had grapefruit juice added to it, so i eh, going to expect that. But it's a very well-made beer. It's very, very juicy. A lot of citrusiness in this beer. I find it very, very tasty for, especially for this guy that don't like session beers. It's got quite a bit of taste. It really does. Very impressive. Wow. Final chug. But it does have a massive amount of grapefruit taste. If you're not into grapefruits or, or that taste in your IPAs, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you may not like it. But I find it very refreshing. Uh, something you could come in and drink. A, and I call these beers a lot more beers. Something you can come in and have one or two and go back out and continue what you're doing, any of the work that you're doing. Wouldn't want to operate no heavy equipment or machinery after I've had two of these, but very sessionable, guys. So we're going to put it in tight. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's got the date on the bottom of the can. It's got the uh, alcohol, the uh, ABV on the can. And it's got the IBUs on the can. So it's got all three bits of information we need as uh, craft beer buyers and drinkers uh, uh, to make a decision. So thumbs up to those guys up there at Captain Lawrence. Very colorful can. Uh, very, very nice. Got a hop, hop cone and a... Uh, it looks like a beach chair, uh, squeezing some grapefruit juice in his beer, sunning himself in a hot field. Very nice. Very nice can. I'd buy it just for the can. <laughs> so, uh, I think it's a name beer, guys. Uh, uh, very, very tasty. Uh, and I'm going to give it to you. Uh, I'm going to give it to A minus. Uh, numeric grade on this guy would probably be 91 or a 92. Especially, probably a 92, since it's got all that information on the can. So. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 88 in a very good range. I think it's a couple notches better than 88, guys. Very, very tasty. Uh, and like I said, and I'm usually not persuaded uh, to uh, give these styles of beer, these session IPAs, because they don't usually have enough taste for this guy. But they, they poured enough grapefruit juice onto this one to kick it up a notch or three. So, uh, very nice. Ray Beer has it at 91 overall, 93 in the style. I'm pretty close to that number. I'll give it a 92. And all because of all the information that's on the can. The date, the IBUs, and the ABV. So, uh, very nice. Probably one of the better uh, session IPAs that I've had. Very, very impressive. And for our final check-in, we will run over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 3.78, which is their B+. And like I said, I think that number's a little bit low. So, uh, beer tastes are subjective, guys. What you think uh, is uh, 
a bad beer I may like and vice versa. What I think is a bad beer you may like. So it all depends on where your palate is at and what style of beer you like and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that being said, if you've had just some Captain Lawrence or Effortless Grapefruit Session IPA, let me know what you think. And like I said earlier, give me some feedback on what I talked about when I first uh, uh, started the video about dropping all these ratings and just giving you my opinion and cutting these videos way back a lot shorter, no poop pairings and all that stuff. When we do that, let me know. We'll back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you later.